Well, it's morning. It's day four. I wouldn't say it's a good morning because it's not. Right now we're dealing with wet snow. Um, it poured all night. We had howling winds over 40 miles per hour. The, uh, the motorhome was rocking pretty good. It, it just poured. Um, we're just trying to uh, go north and get into better weather. It's, uh, we're headed for Regina today and the weather's a little better up there according to the, the weather uh, app that we have. So we're going very slowly right now and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad out there. On top of this wet snow, the wind is still over 40 miles per hour gusts. It's about 30 miles per hour with gusts over 40 miles per hour, so it's uh, not, not good. See all the standing water in the fields. They're supposed to get 114 millimeters of rain last night, four and a half inches. That's a lot of rain. So we, we stayed at the rugby fairgrounds last night. Uh, they had electrical plug in. It was, uh, they asked for a $15 donation, which is well worth it. They had beautiful, clean uh, washrooms with shower stalls. It was very, very clean. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a great place to stay overnight. Um, it would have been nice to have gone for a walk, but it was raining when we got there, and it never stopped raining. There is a, a, only a, a little area that it's flat, so a lot of the uh, camping area is sloped, so you'd have to be prepared for that. But there was a lot of electrical outlets uh, for camping, so well worth a, a, a night to stay. Now it is a fairground, so you would have to check to see what kind of activities they have planned um, before you plan to stay there to make sure that there is room. There is a train track nearby, but it didn't really bother us. We're used to the trains at home. We're not too far from the Canadian border, about 23 miles, according to my calculations. which have been known to be wrong. So just to rub it in, my daughter uh, just texted and said that it's 27 degrees at home, which is around 80 degrees and sunny. We certainly weren't expecting snow on our trip, but you just never know, I guess. Maybe in Alaska we were expecting them, but not here. And the funny part is, um, Regina is a few hours north of here, and it's uh, quite a bit warmer. It's a pretty area through here. So 
So it looks like the road has got some dry patches on it. And the sky looks a little brighter in the distance. That's the way we're going. So we have renewed hope that we will be finally out of the rain today. We're on Highway 52 in North Dakota heading for the Canadian border. And uh, our final destination is around Regina, Saskatchewan today. Quite the waves going on on that lake. The biggest body of water we've seen in a while. Beaver Hut. There's a white crane. Pelican. There's a white pelican. Gravel pit. Must have taken something out of the ground. Yeah. Oh, it's all on this side, too. It's everywhere. Yeah. So they're digging something out of the ground or something. Whatever. Old mounds of they are sand. both sides of the road. With a river running through it. <laughs> river. The creek. This deep hole is full of water. Deep hole is full of water. There's a big piece of sign here. There's a big piece of equipment. Some That's sort. Big, bigger of some sort. Oh, it's Westmoreland Estevan Mine. Seems to be more activity on the other side of the road. I can't get a good picture of it. Looks like an oil well. This one's not operating right now. one 
that's operating. That looks like maybe the train cars that are picking up whatever they're mining over there. So we just saw a couple of antelope laying in the field, just chilling out. I don't think the camera would have picked them up, but I didn't have the camera ready anyway. And we saw a couple of pheasants. Getting closer to the border. Pretty soon we'll be back in Canada, heading for Regina. There's a couple more oil rigs. Lots of them around here. So we are in Saskatchewan. Um, the border crossing was so easy. We crossed that portal. There's a, a beautiful duty free building there with some really good prices. So we indulged. Well, we haven't indulged yet, but we made a couple purchases. Um, it was a really easy crossing the border back into Canada. She just asked us where we were from and if we what our purchases were, and uh, if we had any cannabis or tobacco, drugs, or other alcohol. Oh yeah, and had any other alcohol. Cigarette. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. That was pretty easy. She didn't even ask where we were going. <laughs> Usually the, we get asked that, but. Well, we're going back into Canada. Canada has a great point. True, true. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty easy. The roads are really dry here. And it's uh, really brightened up, so it's turned into a decent day. It's still quite windy. He's going the other way. He's backing up. Oh, well, he's backing up. The other guy's going forward. a good sized farm over there. Grain operation. 
Back there could be nothing more than the... For the road. Gravel for the road, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're making a road over there. So we just stopped at White City along the Trans-Canada Highway and it's the Emerald Park Co-op. They have a dump station there and a Santa Flush. And we filled up on fuel. They also have propane if you need propane. Um, the gas was uh, 1.569 per liter, so not the cheapest, but when you need fuel, you need fuel. And we did get to use their dump station so appreciate that. Now we're heading to our final destination. Somewhere up this road. So this is home for tonight. White Butte Trails. Trailhead. There's different trails here. There's ski trails. Dog walking trails. It's supposed to be beach. Not sure how far the trails are, but yeah. There's Lexi over there. That's where we're going to be spending the night. This is near White City, um, near Regina. We don't see any, no overnight parking allowed. So it looks like it could walk quite a ways. There's supposed to be deer in the area. We'll see if we see any tonight. Beautiful clouds in the sky. about 14 degrees here far cry from this morning when it was one degree and snow <laughs> 